Virginia Beach, thousands of students are eligible for free meals at their schools. But for some of them, there's more to worry about than missing the school bus or even failing that test. It's if they're going to eat that day. According to the nonprofit known as No Kid Hungry in Virginia, one in eight kids will face hunger annually. Prior to the pandemic, meals in schools were either free, price reduced, or full price. But then during the height of the pandemic, all meals were free through food waivers. Since that's changed, schools like Lansdowne High School say they've had to go back to traditional operations through the national school lunch program. Meaning that if a student is not signed up to receive free or reduced lunch, they have to pay. And some families can't afford that. What we have done is we have advocated on behalf of the households to um, VDOE and we were able to uh, apply and receive um, 27 approved uh, schools as part of our community eligibility provision program where at those schools all the kids that go regardless of their uh, parents eligibility they will eat for free. In Chesapeake the school district is also working to keep hunger pangs at bay when kids can't pay especially because the hike in food prices may be preventing some families from filling the fridge. It's a challenge. Food costs is going up across the board in every segment, and K-12 is certainly feeling the brunt of it. What we're doing is we're searching the market for the best prices and the best products. We have a competitive bid process that helps us as well. And we're trying to make sure the students get product that they enjoy and like. For families who think they might be eligible for those free meals, we have those details on our website on WTKR.com. In Virginia Beach, I'm Danielle Seda, News 3.